I think India uh, people are consuming more media. So it's not that they are consuming less print or they are consuming more digital at the cost of print. It's not so. People are consuming more print and they are consuming more digital. They are consuming more television. Uh, it's just that the number of hours people are spending on media is increasing every, every year. And this is therefore leads us to an interesting uh, strategy, which is that let's keep on investing in print to keep it growing. And at the same time, let's keep on investing in digital. It's not uh, like in, in Western countries, they say analog dollars and, and digital um, against digital dimes. It's really analog dollars and digital dimes, both together. So it's and, not or. Print continues to grow. Circulation for most of our newspapers continues to rise. Readership for most of our newspapers continues to rise. And there is a very good reason for it. Uh, we are a young country. It's urbanizing very quickly. Uh, reading English is a cachet. Uh, incomes are increasing. And people want to be more connected and more aware. And there is no better value than the printed newspaper. We sell a newspaper for less than five cents a day against some leading Western papers which sell a pound or a, or a euro or a dollar. So it's great value. It's, it's, it's so, so, so inexpensive, home delivered newspaper, full of color, full of the news of the day, very well curated, very well edited with all the stuff that a person needs. That newspaper continues to be great value. Our newspaper business is extremely competitive. In every city, there are multiple newspapers. There is tremendous investment in editorial, investment in pricing, and investment in home delivery and distribution, and investment in, in great, great printing. Now, these are, these are things that we have peculiarly done in India. And beyond that, almost every publication markets itself aggressively. We spend maybe six to seven percent of our total revenue in marketing the newspaper. Now, that keeps newspaper right at the top of mind of most people. And because of that, it continues to grow. Yeah, I think most great newspapers in the US are not losing the market. New York Times continues to grow. Wall Street continues to grow because what they have done is that they've invested in the mother brand. And the digital has aided the print publication. So the digital has come on top of it. It's not come as a replacement of the print publication. They have not denuded the editorial quality. They have improved the editorial quality. And my advice to all my fellow publishers will be that this asset, the newspaper brand has been formed with tremendous amount of, 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 of hard work and over years. And it is the most precious asset that we have. So why not continue to invest in it rather than denude it? Why cut editorial quality? Why, why not invest in better quality printing? Why not invest in more marketing, in more properties, in more events, in more, uh, more, more uh, touch points with the community? Because once you do that, with that brand, taking that brand, we could do a lot more. We could, we could branch off into, into even television. We could use that brand to, to do out of home. We could use that brand to do radio. And we certainly could use that brand to do all the wonderful apps on iPhone and on iPad and on Blackberry and Nokia. And there is so much uh, that we need to do, do, we can do with the brand. But first and foremost, we must build the brand. We must continue to make the brand happening, make the brand really there and trustworthy. Coming from an FMCG background, uh, fundamentally the first thing that, that I look at, the, almost the first thing that comes to my mind, is it good for our consumers? The second thing that comes to my mind is, is it good for our advertisers and customers? The publishing world is very different. The traditional publishing world is first thinks of themselves rather than of the reader or of the, of the advertiser. I think that attitude, that mind shift is extremely important. I believe that we, are, we exist because we have a reader. We exist because and the guy who pays our bills is our advertiser. And therefore, we need to, we need to be constantly attuned to them rather than just sit in our ivory tower and say, this is what believe is important and I'm going to give it to you. We are extremely fortunate to have editors who understand this. And we've been able to make them understand this. They constantly talk to, talk to consumers and they are constantly in the market just to figure out what is really important, what is bubbling, what is, what is good for our readers to know. And they write for the readers. To us, the reader is the CEO, not 
not I am not the CEO. 